Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Microsoft Spreadsheet Compare tool and what you could do with this is if you have a couple of spreadsheets that are similar and you need to compare both of them because you're not sure which one has the information you need or which one's the most up to date or so on, you could run the tool and have them uh, both compared and then look at the results and then figure out which one you want to use from there. So right here I have a couple time sheets and they look very similar but if you look closely you could see you know this one has a different address than this one and the phone number is different, the names are different, and then if we scroll down we have some difference in the formulas. This one's I8 to I14, this is I8 to I13, and then down here we have the rate of $18 an hour, where we have 15 here, and then we have green in the color here, and blue in the color here, so there are some differences. So the way to run the tool is you need to open it from your Microsoft Office Tools program group, so just click on start and then for you Windows 10 start menu users we go down to Microsoft Office tools and then click on spreadsheet compare which I already have open here so once you open it it'll be blank and you want to click on compare files and then you want to browse to the location of both of your files and then you could swap them if you want to have make one the older and one the newer and then click OK and then it'll open them side by side and you'll notice they look similar but it's not quite the same as how they looked here so if you want to click on show workbook formatting it'll take away some of the information but it'll make them look more like the original okay so down on the bottom here we have all of our options or categories and they're all checked for now and then over on the right here is a little bar graph that kind of gives you an idea of how many differences you have for each type so for entered value, I have 11 differences, calculated value is 23, and so on. So if I uncheck this, then it shows nothing. That's the way I could do one at a time, which is the way I like to do. So like for entered values, you can see here's my differences, and you can see how it highlights it in the sheet. And if we click on Show Workbook, for workbook Formatting, it doesn't show that, so you need to cycle back and forth here to kind of get an idea. So we have the address changes, the name changes, the times, and so on. And then it, then it shows right here only the entered values in this bar. This is kind of more of an informational thing than anything. And if you click on each one, like let's say here's the phone number, it'll highlight the, the differences between the two and show you which cell that's in. And then, you know, for other things like calculated values and formulas, like for example, here's that one I was talking about where I8 to I13 compared to I8 to I14 and some stuff you might not have anything for, you know, I don't have anything for this these type of categories, so nothing's going to show up. Cell format, for example, here's where I change the uh, colors, like in the, uh, in the about, oh, let me go back to this one first. So we have the, the green and the blue, which it doesn't show there, but if we go back to this, we could see the the green and the blue. And it'll kind of you could kind of expand here and to get a little more information, you know, font size and so on. And then also if you have more than one tab, so this is what this one showed to. Here's the sheet about. I have red here and blue there, so it tells you the changes on this other tab as well. So it actually will scan the whole document and all the all the specific sheets within that spreadsheet. Okay, so once you have you know everything looking good and you want to get like a report on it there's a couple ways you could do it if you do copy results to clipboard it'll copy all the results that you have checked so keep that in mind if you have nothing checked it's not going to do anything so if we do that and then let's say we paste it into notepad you could see it's kind of hard to read or really hard to read so that's not super useful to me at least but if you choose the export results It'll generate a file, an Excel file. Let's call it export. And now if I open that file, you can see it's a little easier to read. You still have to kind of sort through it and analyze it, but you could get a better idea of what was changed. And if you need to send that to somebody, if you want them to analyze your spreadsheet or tell them the differences, they could go through this as well. And if you have formulas, 
you could do that and it'll actually list out the formulas for each of the sheets so if you want to compare the two you could do that as well so pretty simple to use and pretty useful so once again just uh, open the program from your Microsoft Office tools go to compare files browse to the ones you want to open and then open them up and then you could go ahead and start comparing and then export if you want and take it from there all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe Thank mm -hmm. you.